guys. Hello guys. So today I'm making cookies for Christmas actually. It's uh what day is it? It's the 13th of December and I want to prepare the doughs and then I put them in the fridge and then I'll bake them maybe tomorrow I prepared tins for them already to put that in I was doing that yesterday with like paper in there because they're not the newest tins and yeah first actually I should give you a little tour of what's been going on because I haven't been filming that much but so, the kitchen is very good looking. Look at this. Do you remember what it looked like? So, we're still waiting for the floor and the tops for sure. There's a mess over here, don't worry about that. But these are very nice, like matte. I added white in the yellow to matte these. And then already here I put spices in here too. Looks really nice. And then some kitchen stuff. And I also want to put lino on the bottom once we get it. And then provisory this there's pots because I found this. I didn't want to put it on the floor, but I will put on another shelf. But we still need to build shelves here. We're waiting for Saw cutting and yeah, so this is good. This looks good here. In here, it's also done. All working now. Ooh, ooh. Look at this. So this is good. Then I can show you these tins that I prepared, I found these, so I just sticked some paper in there, some wrapping paper. So I got two of these, and then two of these green Christmassy ones. So these are four tins where I plan on putting the cookies. And I'm gonna be making, let's see, caterpillars. Oh my god, look at them. How big they're getting. Can you see this? Zooming. Oh wow, look at them. I'm getting really bigger. And they're everywhere. I think they're over 60. So they keep getting new food and, and it dries out. And what else is new? What else is new? We got lists of things we still have to do before the retreat. Here I cleaned out this cooler which also needs a makeover. So we're going to take out all the shelves, paint the wall, also this pink wall. I need to wait for it to zoom in. So this pink wall will be white, so I'll still have to take all of that stuff down so that maybe I can paint it one of these days. And I've been quite busy in the room down here. Oh wow, it's a mess. It doesn't look so bad. On the camera but there's been animals living here I mean just like spiders so I cleaned most of the old stuff that was in here still have to take that down I'm gonna wash the curtains that I took down today then paint this one bed this one I would like to paint it to look a bit nice this one looks very nice because we will have three people living here for one week and then yeah so paint the whole thing white and it will look so much better clean all of the windows and everything and buy some new nice things to put in here and yeah it's gonna look amazing 
I know that. But right now it's like, oof. So yeah. So those are the updates. And now, turn the light off here. And now, back to baking. So, so back to baking. I'm making three different things, actually four different things. And because one of them is just a coconut that you do with the leftover whites, because I need yolks for the recipes. So these are like Czech typical cookies that we usually make and my favorites. One of them are gingerbreads. One of them are these like vanilla C-shaped, what do we call it, rolls. And one of them are like Christmas cookies, I would say white ones with what you put together with some jam. And then the coconut puffs, that's like just side thing, maybe I'll make it just for now, to have now, because I'm not actually going to make all of these now, but I'm going to prepare the dough today. So, I got some grounded nuts here, Scott grounded them for me, so they're perfect because we don't have any machines like this, so he did it with the hand stone grinder, grounder. Or how's it called and it's very good also I prepared my own gingerbread spice mixture it was quite a challenge to find all these spices but I think it's gonna work yeah it's a pretty rich mixture of different things so he also grounded some uh, you know these star anise these stars so he grounded those to add in the mix so that's good and I'm gonna start with the vanilla shapes vanilla seeds I would say and I wanted to put okay so that was the battery that I changed now we're ready to go so I want to put the bigger one in here bigger though and the smaller ones for, for the vanilla C shapes. I'm gonna use this one. First, I'm gonna measure 120 grams of white flour. Honey for this one, and I'm just gonna do for the other one where I need 300 grams. Ooh. This will all be for like 40 people, so I usually would go with like gluten-free stuff, but for Christmas, I'm sure you know it, it's just going all out, so it has to be the proper recipe, right? Okay, 150. I feel like we pay more attention to white sugar in the form of sugar like this than all the sugar included in everything we eat. So I'm trying to change that. I don't usually eat sugar at all, like the pure one. Okay, so I have 40 grams of sugar. Bit more. Okay, 40 grams for the first one. And 100 grams for the second one. Now I'm gonna add these nuts 
into this one. So I have 50 grams vanilla extract for both. This one is very good for the long struct. Now, butter and eggs. Butter. Got some unsalted butter for these ones. Oh, oh, it's quite warmish. That's good. Perfect. Eight grams. Oof. And the other one, 200 grams. Now I'm gonna work these doughs, both of them, and do the coconut puff. The coconut puffs will be from the whites, so I have four whites, and for each white you add one spoon of sugar and one spoon of coconut. But first, I think you whisk it. I whisk it with the sugar. So now you just mix everything together. The butter has to obviously connect and then I'm gonna make balls from them like giant dough and giant dough from that put it in foil tin foil no what is that mm, plastic foil put it in plastic foil and put it in the fridge and these puffs I'll bake them today can also show you I got these very nice shapes hearts and these flowers so I'll use the small one for the inside and the big one for the outside and then connect them so yeah that's good and now I'm gonna whisk this with sugar and add coconut and bake and bake it probably
Hello guys, I'm here with a big update and it's the kitchen tops. Look at that, it looks so amazing. I don't know if the light shows, it's like a marble texture. And wow, it's just we just put the piece, or so this piece will go over there. But I'm so happy with how it looks. And it matches this color very well. Wow, this is something exciting. No words actually. Looks beautiful. Woof. So we're gonna have to take that off, measure it, cut it. It's gonna go on this side. Yeah, some details like missing tile and painting this wall white. Changing the floor, that's going to be in January, so there's still time for that. But wow, I'm so happy for this. It's like the wooden one with this cover. Over here is the other side. Now that we got the saw, here we have some more edges from there. We got these to put it on, put on the kitchen top. These ones, hopefully they're the correct size. Tape for painting. And then I also got this matte clear protection like for chalk matte paint because the way I painted the yellow is enamel so it washes perfectly and doesn't leave them many stains but this one is mixed yellow mixed with white which is white matte and look it's already dirty and it leaves the traces and it's not really washable so I'm gonna have to reseal this with that stuff we got or repainted actually because it's already dirty here <sighs> and so yeah I'm so so excited for the kitchen top it looks so good and I haven't given you an update last time I filmed I was baking but then it was just very hot and hard to film it so I didn't end up giving the update for the baking and I finished it all yesterday or almost finished it so I'm gonna show you what I got in my soup boxes so we got these they're like sugar coated that was the one dough I'm gonna try to add the recipe here so these are like seeds then in this box in this box I got these which I still need to stick together with jam I might actually do that now so it's like the bottom and the top and these flowers which I'll stick together with some seedless jam and the third ones are gingerbreads these are super tasty and I will also decorate them on top with some white you use the yolk and sugar and then you decorate them and wow they smell very good so I might do this soon. I'm actually gonna do this now. And uh, 
Yeah, other than that, it's been really hot and really nice. We're getting there. Progress, big progress. <sighs> yeah. I did feel a bit sick these days, so I'm better now and we are getting things done. So that's exciting before the retreat because people are coming and that will be so exciting. So yeah, see you later. Good morning. So I started off with some juicing, as you saw. We're finishing the tomato kitsch. I'll show you later. Now I'm gonna measure the board for the, the kitchen tops. So let me show you. Looks like this. I'm gonna measure this one here, but I wanted to show you. My little friend, <laughs> not that much of a friend, but small spider. I forgot how it's called. It's like this slow walking mister. Boop. Oh, yeah, it looks. He usually behaves like he's super old and walks very slowly, but apparently he can. Poison from his ears or something. I I want to show you the final cookies. It's Christmas cookies, how they look. So look at these. I decorated these with like a sugar mm, sugar white thing. So we got some butterflies <laughs> and some. Abstract art, <laughs> but I love the coating. Looks super good and tastes amazing. Then we got these I showed you before with sugar on top, and these ones are filled with jam. Oh, these are very favorite and tasty. Hello, hello with the kitchen update. So let me show you. Just keeps coming with layers so I did imagine it easier that's for sure today we managed to take the top off which was screwed on everywhere yeah, it does make sense but it did seem like it's gonna be a bit easier and then there was a shelf that was in this position quite high for the pots to fit in so I said we could move it down so this is the shelf actually it's like a little puzzle that you put together so I will paint all of these separately and then <clears throat> while we're here I will paint all the inside can help also with the smell of like a leak that was there before and then we have a hole in the wall there that goes outside so that's from some pipes that were added here so we're gonna have to fill that also in and then while we're here also these tiles are falling apart and we have spare ones so and they look used let's say so yeah we might as well do it well while we're here and it's definitely gonna take a bit longer but that's okay i guess today came to terms with it and this is the the new board that will go on top still really happy with this with the pattern 